Okay, so this is video two. I didn't record how I pulled the pen, but I'm gonna explain you what I actually do when I work on this. So while the pen is draining, I mean, you of course remove the drain plug, it's a 19 mil, I let it drain. And when that actually drains, I get a jack under the transfer case and jack it up so that I get up the weight off the cross member because you need to remove the cross member in order to remove the pen. So after I do that, I loosen the passenger side bolts. I remove the driver side ones and then I leave one here on the passenger side so that I can just... Oh, and after you pull those four on the driver side, you remove the two nuts here and then hold the trans to cross member. Then I remove three in here and leave one that's actually loose so that you can just push the cross member back and out of the way. Um, then you remove all the 10 millimeter bolts across the oil pan. Then you clean the oil pan. I'm gonna leave a picture right there. Clean the oil pan, clean the magnet. And in this case, what actually made it really hard is that the old um, gasket was stuck in there. So I had to scrape it and clean it. It's now nice and clean, ready to go. Then you remove the old oil filter. This is a new one. Uh, it's held in by three 13 mil bolts you pop the old filter out and then you clean the mating surface you know because usually the gasket from the old filter gets stuck in there and if you don't remove it you're gonna have a leak in there so you scrape that as well i'm gonna leave some pictures because i did take some pictures uh clean it pop the new filter in tighten the 13 millimeter bolts and after you clean the mating surface here and on the old pan you slide the new gasket in with a clean magnet and now it's time to pop the um, the pan back in. So I'm gonna do that right now and I'll come back at you. All right, folks, oil pan is in. Oh my God, I'm exhausted. Cross member is in. I cleaned the pan a little bit. I still need to clean this thing a better, but um, so right now it's time to start pumping. So as always, this thing takes ATF Dextron 3. You already know the hand pump setup that I use. So right now the pan is only going to take around three quarts and then it's going to start pouring out. So after it actually starts pouring out, you reinstall the fuel plug, fire it up, let it warm up for like three to four minutes. You don't want this thing to be completely hot. Then you remove the fuel plug and of course it's going to be low and you're going to start pumping until fluid starts to come out of there. So I'm going to start pumping some fluid and I'll come back at you real quick. Okay, so fluid is dripping out with the vehicle up, of course, so as you can see, it was around here, so yeah, it took around three quarts. So now I have to reinstall the fuel plug, but um, I need to get a new um, copper washer for there, so I'm going to get that, reinstall the fuel plug, fire this thing up, and fill as necessary. Okay, so we are under the 96 and already two extra, I already pumped two extra quarts in it. Um, you want to fire it up, let it idle for like two to three minutes and then I'm going to check the fluid. Uh, it looks like we're missing just a tad more. So I'm going to pump another half a quart and we'll come back at you. Okay, pump half a quart. Starting to overflow slightly. Time to reinstall the plug. So transmission servicing is done. I will post a video updating uh, if I feel any changes in third gear because the fan was lit a little bit. So thanks for watching.